The lighting's perfect in the living room for videos because of these big windows. Have you seen the big windows? That's why the lighting's perfect in here. So I'm gonna film in here. Because guess what? My husband went and got the mail. Look, this is Timu. It is a Timu package and look, there's no label of orange on it at all. Wow. And here's one too. And it says Timu up in the reach, but there's no label. But then this one has the label. And then I got one from Amazon. So since people, I get the most views on this Timu crap, we're gonna open it first so everyone can just love the Timu stuff and watch it because everybody, thousands of views on Timu stuff. And yet I could give you a video about uh, learning how to crochet and how many people watch it? 200. I understand though. All right, I got a, you know, in high school nowadays, they, this is kind of a story. In high school nowadays, they sell the iPads. They use iPads and then they sell them when they graduate. So my granddaughter, Brianna, she uh, had one and it was hard, you know, she said it's like brand new, she never used it. She was selling it, so I bought it from her for like 50 bucks. So she, didn't give me a cover to go with it. So I hate, I haven't used it yet because it feels so precariously, I'm gonna break it. So I got the cover from Amazon and the glass protector because I didn't want to wait for Timu. And I know you guys do that too. If we want something now, we can just order it from Amazon. I still have these lights up because it's gonna be Valentine's Day and then I still have my greenery winter scene up there, if you're wondering. But I really should get rid of it because it um, makes me feel, cl well, I leave the lights up all the time because they're those string lights and they stick to the, they're stuck to the, uh, what's that called? Brick. And so I don't want to remove it. And because I'm down here and I didn't go back upstairs, I do not have prices with me of the stuff that I bought. And I don't even remember what I bought. So, oh, I do too, and I don't even remember. When you open it, you remember. I got this for my son, for his classroom because I gave him a whole bunch of rings and this holds the rings. So what I do, I just order this and then I find a nice box. Cause you know, us old ladies, we like to save really nice boxes. And then I make it for him and I give him um, stuff for his students. And I have, I gave him a whole bunch of rings for the little girls because you know why I did that? When I was a little girl, I loved rings. But I never had any, or got any. But, oh, I wanted them so bad. As you can tell, I still love them. All right, and my first ring I ever got, my mom and dad were going to Crater Lake. You know, that's in Oregon. And they were taking, we had some company, and they were taking them to Crater Lake to show them Crater Lake, because they hadn't been, they were visitors. And of course, the car wasn't big enough for the whole family to go. So my sister and I, we stayed with grandma and um, she said she'd bring me something back. So, you know, we're waiting all day. We can't, exci we're excited. But what she brought me back was a ring from Crater Lake. And I loved that ring so much, but I don't know what happened to it, but it had a green, I remember it had a green stone. Now I know why it had a green stone. My mother's favorite color is green. And that was my first ring I ever had. I loved it. All right, I'm gonna, sh this, I, I'm gonna show, we're gonna, I'm gonna demonstrate it later. But first I'm gonna open this one. I knew that was coming. 
from my notices this morning, but these scissors are crap. When you have to cut three times to get through one section, you know they're bad scissors. All right, <clears throat> but I didn't know this one was coming. My favorite things, now if you buy them from one vendor, they're or like this. If you buy, buy them from another vendor, they package them like this. My favorite wash rags. Do you call them wash rags? Wash rags. Some of them do look like rags after a while. That's for sure. I give those to my husband for the garage. But I ju if you have never seen them, I just love them. And look how they are. They're just a piece of fabric and they have some magic or cutter that cuts it like this, they're old fabric. And you would think it wouldn't be good fabric because it's kind of fluffy and stuff, but it's so good. I just love them. And so I put the blue ones, I don't, I don't like the blue ones. I put the green one in my green bathroom, the pink ones in my bathroom, and the blue ones in the kitchen. But, all right, I went on Facebook. You know how we're on Facebook sometimes. Well, they had this on there. They were selling. And I don't know about you, but Facebook, I've ordered things from Facebook, and it never showed up. And I had to complain and get my money back. So I'm kind of leery ordering off Facebook. I need to put you down a little. Maybe, 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 maybe. Now I'm gonna cut my head off. So anyway, they had these and it was a clip with a bow on the back and you put your hair up and they look so cute. She, the beautician just went, she just drew, and then she put it back here and it just looks so cute. Well, they're a dollar on Timu. If you bought them from them, you know, it was gonna be a lot more. And then I have, I've showed a bit of my jewelry and I have a lot. Like when I die, they're gonna put it in a big bucket, all of it, a big giant tub, and let all the grandkids go through it probably. Because my daughters are in charge of my jewelry stuff and they will just take the sterling silver good stuff and all the rest will be donated. But I got, they had these in different colors. But I always need another black one. These wire ones are kind of, fragile and I like it and if you take them on a trip in your suitcase they get ruined I had a peachy colored one but I do like how they look I'm gonna wear it today my husband will think I look really good he's eating in the kitchen the tuna noodle did you watch the video of the tuna noodle I made well we ate it for one night for dinner and then we ate it for lunch and he's he's still eating it but I love leftovers for that reason he's eating it for lunch oh yes I got another one of these because I just adore them and love them since everything has to have a U B U S B. I always say use B C U S B label port and these have the extra switches you know and it was less than two dollars and I, you can get white and black, and I get them, and I have one up there by my room. And because I don't want to have a plug for everything that nowadays you need those for. So, what did I buy? Oh, I hope this is good. I hope it's good. I hope it's good. It is. It's not that crappy fabric. You, we all know what that crappy fabric is. No stretch. This has a stretch. And... You know, I love animal print, and so does my husband. He loves, my whole house is in animals. He loves animals. I have every kind of animal. Fish, elephants, rhinoceroses, hippopotamuses, lions, giraffes, those crane birds, what are they called? Zebra. I have every kind, I don't have any dogs though. A swordfish. Anyway, 
So he likes animals, but I hope it looks awfully big. I'm gonna have another sewing job to do. But I just think this is cute and it has the V neck. I like it. If it's too low, I'll take a seam down the back of the shirt. Long sleeves with cuffs that, I wonder if the cuffs are gonna be so big that they, oh, they're pretty good. I might not have to do anything to them. But it's kind of a dressier blouse and I like it. I'm happy with it. I will link it down below because I learned how. You know, we do that over and over again. I don't know how to link it. I don't know how to edit. I don't know how to do it as old people. But it's, you just have to, t it takes about four hours to watch and learn and then to apply it and watch it and read it and go back and read it again. And then I have to write it down because then I have to move forward and then I don't remember what it said. So then I have to look at it again. And four hours later, I finally did it, but and then if my grandson came, he could have showed me it in 10 minutes. All right. I'm loving coats from Timu. They aren't lined. They aren't, um, you know, wonderfully warm coats. But they're, they look good. So I got this color because, what size did I get? 2X. Hope it's not too big. I got this because this color to wear with dresses to church. And I found, I don't like, my red one I bought is double breasted. So you have to button it or it's open, flapping open, double breasted, huge. I didn't like it. So I like the single breasted ones. Then they have some that do not have a button. Why do you want a coat without a button? I don't want those either. So, the coat I like is like this. Oh, this is perfect. I wonder how long it is. Let's back up. Yes, sleeves, oh, it's perfect. Except no pockets. Wait, it has pockets. It's the perfect coat. One button, single. You can wear a scarf in it if it's colder. Pockets for gloves the length that you could be a little taller than me and your length will still be good. And the length is coming below the knee. Perfect church coat. And then at church, if it's hot, I mean, if it's not so cold, you could leave it on because it's not real heavy duty. Oh, I'm happy with that. And look, I could even wear this with a skirt, a black skirt and have this be the coat over it. Oh, that was making me happy. Now, what's this? This is probably in a still, it is a 2X. Whatever I got, it's in a 2X. Another thing to match my orange shoes. Remember my orange shoes? You don't even remember them anymore. This is a dress. I remember it now. It's supposed to be a dress. But this is the orange high heels I got. But this would be kind of cute with that colored coat. Let's try it on. We can try it on over that dress, over this dress. Won't matter. Oh yes. How is this color? And look, it has the higher neck. How's the shoulders? I don't know about these sleeve length. And it buttons around good. Yeah, see that sleeve length. It just doesn't strike me as cute. I might want to do something with the sleeves. It has nice wood buttons. I like it. See, to me, these sleeves make it look more casual and not, um, you wouldn't want to wear high heels with it then. Let's see if it was a shorter sleeve. I think it would look better with the short, I'm gonna hem the sleeves. But I think I like it. Okay. I'm sure it was cheap or I wouldn't have bought it. All right, now this is, I paid, I don't know, extra, extra large. I loved it. I keep coming across it. It looks like suede, but you know it's not. And I was wondering about the length, cause you know, 
If you have the issues in the front, you want it to cover things. But it just looks so cute with jeans, even for church with a skirt. And the sleeves are a little bit long. Look at how they did the hem on the sleeves. They just turned it up. They didn't even put a real hem in it, which is good if I have to hem it. Okay, let's see. It zips. I kind of like it. <sighs> Oh uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be fine. And the, except I gotta hem the sleeves, which will be easy. You have to have the right colored thread though. Hem the sleeves up. I kind of like them taking in a little tiny bit. I don't like bell sleeves. No pockets, dang. Okay, what if we just wore it open without zipping up for with jeans? Yes, I like it. Okay, I'll link it below. Because I wonder if they have other colors. I'm anxious to see if they have other colors. Oh, look what I found on the floor. A little doll baby bottle. Yes, I didn't put it there. And I, the doll houses are up here. And I'm sure a child knocked it off. That's fine. I will return it to where it goes with the little babies. All right, now, I had this daughter-in-law, my son divorced her now, but if she found stuff like that around anywhere, in the yard, any toys, parts, she just threw it away. I'm too cheap, I could never do that. I always have to get it back to where it belongs. All right, I got these because have you ever needed a big rubber band? Oh, I wish they were. I didn't know what size to get, but sometimes I just need a big rubber band that's not a throwaway one, but I wish it was a little bit to fit around the notebook, but I'm sure they were cheap and I'll put them in the junk drawer with everything else. I'm gonna put them in this baggie because it's Ziploc and this one isn't. And this one's a throwaway bag. And this one is a good one. So I'm gonna put them in here to go in the drawer. And then I'm gonna to look to see what size these are and order a bigger size. All right, we got more. We have more. If my memory remembers what they are for, I do not remember. Okay, dig into the bottom of the bag. The plain white bag. Maybe it's cheaper for them. The plain white bags without their logo are probably cheaper. Then they don't have to pay to put their logo on it. I can't imagine in China it would cost much to pay, though. All right. Oh, this is gorgeous. It is a brooch that's a heart. But, you know, it's pretty nice. I like it. It's pretty nice. It doesn't look too cheap, and it's kind of weighty. So that'll be nice for Valentine's Day. I'll put it on my something. And then I have another one. And this one, I think, I remember it was like 80 cents. So, it's not much. Oh, what is it? No wonder it was cheap. It's not a brooch. It looks like a brooch, but look at the back of it. You get to sew it on permanently on something. And I will. I'll sew it inside my husband's pocket. And then he can remember every time he puts his hand in his pocket, he'll feel the heart. And then he'll know, oh yeah, she loves me. Would that work, Jamie? He'd be annoyed by it. <clears throat> I got two bags of these. They look like fish. I don't know what they are. I don't know what they are. They have a hole in them to tie them to something. Uh, 
I'm just going to have to look it up. I don't even know what they are. They have a little, like they fit onto something. I'm sure I need, if I, if I ordered them, I ordered two packs because I needed them. We'll have to see what it is. It's a surprise for later. All right. This is another clip for your hair, I think. <clears throat> is it? Is it? Oh, yeah. This gives you a different look because it's hanging down. And this clip is a short clip, not the big long one. So this would go with what I'm wearing today. And then I'll look really dressed up with this back here. It's like from the 1930s, 20s. I don't know what year. And these are cutters, some kind of cutter. I don't know what they're called, what kind of cutters. But I got two of them. And they say uh, elements. And then everything else is in a different language, and including Chinese language. All right, look. I wonder what I bought it for. It would really, it has a little blade there. So, it's gonna be good for gouging out something. I can't wait to look up what did I buy, why did I buy it, because I don't know. All right, I will get back to you on this stuff. <clears throat> because <clears throat> I gotta look it up myself. I gotta separate the garbage, you know, from the real stuff. I need a helper here. No, I don't. Sometimes you don't want them around because then you have to stop what you're doing and do what they want. And I don't want to stop what I'm doing because I'm doing stuff. And then they're always hungry. And then they're always, that's why I like them when they're a little bit, the grandchildren are a little older, they can get their own food. Of course, they still make messes, even when they're old or young. I found that out. But even my husband makes messes and look how old he is. And I make messes. Sometimes I think if I just lived alone, I would never make a mess. I do though. If I am alone, and the next morning I look, look what the mess I made. All right, this is a little lamp. And it was like really $2 or something. And I thought, that's darling. I'm going to order one and see if it's cute. If it's good, I'm going to order another one. I have a pair for $2. And it looks like real wood. And it is real wood. No, it isn't. It's real plastic wood-like look. Oh, that's cute. It's a battery. It doesn't UBCS charge. It's just a battery. And it just has a switch right here. On, off. It would be good by your bed. A little flashlight to take to the bathroom. My husband could use it. And it would be good. He's having trouble with the TV. Well, you're not supposed to watch it right now anyway, because I'm doing this. That's why usually I'm in my bedroom doing this. And then I have to have artificial light, but I like the real lights. So I don't think I'll order another one, but it is cute. And this is just plastic. It looks like a floor lamp in the dollhouse. Could be for that. But I know what the grandkids would do. They would turn it on in the dollhouse and then they'd walk away and leave it on. And then it wouldn't turn on next time. So I doubt if I'll give it to them in the dollhouse. It's just one another one of those junkers. No, I like it, but do we need it? No, we don't need it. All right, now, my last thing. I'm not, I shouldn't say that. You should never say, this is my last thing. Because you know what people do. They're holding the remote ready to turn the channel. Because... They want to get out of here and go on to something else. This kind of sticks and static -y. Might cut the tails off. I'm kind of old for ribbon tails. All right. I have a problem here because in my living room, people come in and they always sit on this couch, not that couch. And that means they have dirty shoes that they sit on this couch with. And so the carpet in front, I noticed, is getting a little soiled. 
It's not bad yet. So I ordered one carpet, but it wasn't long enough. And I'll show you what it did. Hang on. It just comes into a big heap because of the type of fabric it is. So my thought is I'm going to order a bigger one that I can put underneath the couch and underneath the coffee table so it can't possibly move to protect my, you know, how much do we pay for this carpet? Over 3000 3600 or something. So this is bigger and it's going to protect it all. And it's this hairy kind of carpet. And so I'm going to try to hook it up here and see. If it is the right, I'd had to get to get in order in order to get it long enough to go under the feet of the couch. I had to get it wider. They have runners, but they didn't have one that was going to work. So this is it. Once you just have a new carpet, if all you do is keep putting rugs in front of everything, rugs and rugs and rugs. My grandma did that too. Yeah, I think it's going to work. But I gotta have a, a helper to lift. But anyway, that's my plan. And it, I like how it matches the couch. And it's gonna work to protect the real carpet from the dirty slobs that I live with and that visit me. And how much should I pay for it? Probably like $36 or something. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna go clear my throat and clean up this mess and then fix my carpet the right way. And then I'm going to go eat my salad. Goodbye.